Hello Aries, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am Sage Sunset and I'm here to intuitively interpret messages for you using the tarot cards. And I'm doing career reading for Aries for the upcoming seven days. Now let's get into it. Some of you have decided perhaps to walk away from a relationship. Could be a family somewhere where you felt on the outs. To just move away, create your own. Create life of your own. Start a new business. So you may have gone into that mode of soul searching. Because have to create something, you have to really build it from scratch. So diving into yourself and figuring out how are you going to put this together. While on this journey, you found that you have much to be thankful for. And you feel more grateful because now you have moved away from a place where you weren't sure about how valuable you are feeling and how valuable your environment was making you feel. But it was reflecting about you, Aries. But now you realize you have a lot to be thankful for emotionally, feeling more confident. And so I feel there are new beginnings of financial stability, financial abundance coming in for you. And it is coming in swiftly. You're feeling much more grounded, stable, more confident, being able to rely on yourself, trust in your creative abilities, trust in the business that you are starting, trust in your strength, trust in what, in what you have to move forward, seeing yourself better. And this is viewing yourself inside out, building that confidence, taking step-by-step -step action, going toward what it is that you believe in. And it is creating new streams of income for you. Or these are new feelings developing for you of self-worth. Beautiful energy coming in. Now you are the head of your business. You're coming to own your business. Being that energy now. Prosperity is with you now. So you feel valuable inside and out. So you're able to trust in yourself. Moving in the direction that serves you. And I feel you are more confident because you may be running a creative business or your business is in its, its stage of prosperity, right? And you feel good because you do feel grounded. You have boundaries. You feel stable. There's something that you trust about your business. And it's pushing you to higher levels. And that's this sense in you of possibly knowing who you are, your purpose, alignment with yourself. I feel love energy coming up, a two of souls energy, a water card, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This could be you going in to offer someone some, some love, some value, some support, financial support, maybe to a charity. <clears throat> but this is love energy. And this is you going in with force. But I would say be careful though in this week with this energy of... But it's you standing up for yourself, for what you believe in. But maybe look at your reasons behind wanting to take this action. See if there is any toxic energy behind it. I feel like you will be stopped if you don't check your energy, your real reason for, for moving forward toward this love energy. And this could be another person coming toward your love energy and they're not coming with good intentions. There'll be like destructive energy here, rage, not, not being able to even reason, coming behind your back. So be careful of that, Aries. <clears throat> so this could also be a business partnership you know a business partnership it don't have to be love 
just some affiliation but this person you do have an emotional bond with right so it's not really strictly business so it could be family business family business you're feeling family oriented thinking of growing grounding your family maybe you're proposing to someone or right, this is right. Mm, something ending releasing giving up surrendering as if releasing your burdens releasing being released as if released going back home for the first time in a long while you know some of you this could be a family business that is possibly ending falling apart or maybe it's it's falling into the new as if you have to transition into a new way of running business maybe there are other people looking to invest in your business or to just reap something out of your business. Maybe there are too many people involved. I see that the ball is in your hand. As if you're in charge here, you make the decisions about how this goes in the future. Feeling like you're the boss. I feel like you're a bit worried maybe about your family how maybe how something falling apart could affect your family right how is this how is this falling apart about to affect my livelihood my family Feel like your creative genius your spark is still within you but you could be very nervous and right now and not remembering that that you have what it takes even when you were younger maybe you started this business a long long time ago and we're saying that it is innate in you you have the power the gifts the tools the vigor in you, the mental capacity to move forward. Pray, meditate, remember who you are. Tap into the energy of your soul, a guidance within you that is straightforward and direct, one that keeps you grounded focused, aligned with your purpose, you. This is where you feel comfortable, trusting, being direct, moving with force, unquestionable force. Undoubtable, undeniable. You go after what you want. But maybe just meditate, regain your composure, breathe, remember who you are. Hmm. Moving, heading away, heading in the direction. Like you're always moving. Even when you feel it's hard, as if you're going against the wind, you keep moving through. Some of you could be physically moving, 
Or this could be an emotion that you're experiencing. An emotion that is coming by you meditating, getting clarity, deciding to move forward, to build, to recreate, to be honest, to be direct, to tell the truth, to trust in yourself and watch as the pieces come together for you again. And I see a lot of movement for you. So you could be, some of you could really be moving, either moving into this new step, financial stability here. Going for what you want. Wow, look at this, another sword's energy. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot in your reading. Feelings of groundedness, stability. Maybe you feel off balance and you're looking for this groundedness. As if you're looking to overcome what it is that is affecting you, bothering you. And so when you go on your soul search, you find what it is that you need to eliminate <laughs> in order to step up to move forward four five six in swords energy ascending transcending movement direction being on your path and sometimes you may feel like you're not progressing because you're in the midst of it right but you are, you are ascended, you are actually embodying what it is that you want to, to represent. You say no, you mean no. You're, you're taking the actions, so it is aligning with how you feel. So this is you building your integrity. All searching heart to heart connection as if as if returning to a place where love once was for you as if going into the mountains because maybe you have a cabin there and you and your father used to go there or some sentiment like that or you want to take you want to retreat back to a place where it reminds you of love healing connections really taking the steps forward in your life in your business hmm Feminine energy, motherly energy. The Queen Cups. This could be a motherly figure. This could be you really heading your business. We have one, two, the third queen. The third queen on the board. You could be moving into a water sign. Someone that you love. Moving toward an emotional connection. And this person senses you coming. But what energy are you going with? Your confidence, your groundedness, your true self, being direct? Or are you rushing in? a bit of toxicity so remember that this person is very wise emotionally intelligent this could be the head of your home your wife perhaps because you do have a family card out here you could just be going back home now maybe after working
taking back home the prize. Tough for it up. <laughs> Beautiful outcome. This is you feeling free as if being released. As if you've made it and the outcome is much different than what you thought it would have been. Happy. This could be a baby, a child coming into the world. A commitment. Hmm. prospering and it could be a business idea of course because this <laughs> this is a career reading but you have cups energy and a lot of air energy as well in your career Aries all right so so we have for you a beautiful outcome this is success this is um, material success so I feel like you're one that works to ensure that your family is okay you are stable and grounded you know this is I feel like maybe for your family so yeah the outcome is amazing beautiful all the hard work that you put out is, has paid off for you so I feel you had to go through some hard times with the Queen of Swords. I mean, maybe had to be alone for a while. But now you're moving back home. And the home could be in you. Where you have connectivity because you realize that our connection with loved ones. Because you realize it is important for you as well. Moving forward. Wow. So there's a lot of love and affection energy even in your career as if your family is a major major part of your life of your driving force of the reason that you move forward so you pick up the pieces and you carry on and this is something that you find fulfillment in doing a lot to be thankful for this is new beginnings of emotional fulfillment stability love and affection coming in for you all right aries there's a sense of appreciation for yourself what you do it's going to make you happy oh in business <laughs> all right aries thank you so much for being here i hope you found the messages in this career reading that was able to help you along your journey if you did Give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future uploads. Aries, remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Take care.